Hello, welcome to Arvinson Academy. We are discussing uh, today a new topic and that is linear equation in two variables. So, I hope uh, the first two topic what you have been taught uh, it will be convincing me uh, acknowledged by you. Now, in this topic uh, uh, we are going to discuss uh, some theory and there are some problems as well. So, what is a linear equation in two variables? So, you have you are aware about the linear equation that is a equation of degree one. Uh, the topic is linear equation. Linear equation in two variables. In two variables. Variables. So this is the topic, and we will discuss today this topic linear equation in two variables. So two variables say x and y are two variables and therefore linear equation in x and y can be written as ax plus by plus c is equal to zero where a, b, c are constant. So this is a linear equation, is a linear equation linear equation where a b c are constant and x and y are called are called independent variables independent variables right these are two variables which can have any value so what will be the solutions if I am writing a linear equation uh, in one variable, then one equation say 2x minus uh, 6 is equal to 0. In that case, only one equation is enough to find the value that is 3 and 3 will be the answer. But whenever there is an equation uh, in two variables, then you cannot have solutions exactly by using this fact. Suppose I am writing here a simple equation that is x plus y is equal to 20. In that case, what will be the solution? Solution can be when x is equal to 1, y can be 90, isn't it? x is equal to 2, y can be 18. Similarly, if x is equal to 9, y can be 11. x is equal to 11, y can be 9, and like that y can be 9. Even x is equal to, I, if I write here, if I can write x is equal to minus 5, say x is minus 5, then y is equal to 25. So, there will be infinite solutions. So, one equation will have infinite solution. Infinite solutions, only one equation. If one linear equation has infinite solutions, as there are there are infinite infinite pair of x and y which can satisfy the equation can satisfy the equation satisfy the equation. You know, uh, linear equation in one variable, if I am writing x plus y is equal to 20, and we can make a table uh, for x plus y is equal to 20, and there can be a number of values as well. So, if I am writing uh, some of the values what I have mentioned there, then uh, some of the value if I am taking here some of the values like uh, x and y and y and x plus y is equal to 20. So if I am writing here like uh, x is equal to 1 y is 19 x is equal to 1 y is 19 x is equal to 2 y is 18 x is equal to 3 y is 17 x is equal to 5 y is 15 x is equal to 9 y is 11 and x is equal to 11, y is 9, x is equal to 10, y is equal to 10. So, there are several values 
and you can have a number of values uh, which can satisfy these two conditions x plus y. If you plot the graph of this, say, if you plot the graph of this equation, then what will happen? So, in that case, it will be a straight line. If you plot the graph of this, say, uh, this one, these values on number line system or on graphs, uh, then that will be uh, a straight line, isn't it? So, in that case, And one more. Uh, in that case, what will happen? That if you plot a graph of all these values, corresponding values, then you will have a straight line. So, if I plot a graph of this values x plus y is equal to 10, then what will happen? <laughs> if I write this, then say this is x axis, y axis and z axis. So, if I am writing here like uh, this one is x, this one is x dash, this one is y and that is y dash, then this is 0 and say x is equal to 1, y is equal to 19 here. If x is equal to 0, y is 20, 0, 20 is point here and x is 20, y is 0, that will be point here. So, if I draw a line of uh, this these values, you know, so that will come like a straight line like this and uh, it will satisfy Very like this and that will be like this. So, x is 20, y is 0 like this. These are the points and I have plotted a graph. So, when x is 1, y is 19 will be this value. x is that is 2, 18, 4 and 4, 16, x 4, y 16, then 6 and 14, y is 10 and 10 x is 10, y is 10 like this. So, these are few values uh, which can be uh, plotted there and you can plot an infinite number of values in this, on this line. There are infinite values on this line. So, just to mark them, this is 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, oh, right like this is Four, eight, twelve. This is uh, twenty, so that must be ten, and here that must be ten also. Now this will be five. This will be five. You can correspondingly this will be fifteen, and this will be fifteen as well. So uh, you can plot them. Uh, let us plot this. So, in that case, the value will be like uh, these are value 10 and 10, 10 and 10 will be like this. If I plot this 10, then value of this is 10 and that will be also 10. So, in that way, uh, 10 and 10 will be this, right? That will be 5 and 15, 5 and 15 and 5 x 15 y 5 isn't it so that will be the value 15 and 5 similarly if uh, this one is x 5 and y 15 so this will be point 5 and 15 like that so you can plot a number of points on this graph and definitely um, there are infinite points so if you go for graphical solution then also there will be infinite solutions so one linear equation, one thing you must learn here, understand one linear equation in two variable, in two variable 
represent a straight line a represent a straight line a straight line line okay a straight line and uh, since there are there are infinite points infinite points on one line points on a line and therefore infinite solution infinite points on a line and therefore one linear equation as infinite solution infinite solutions right now so we can solve uh, two linear equations and if there are two linear equations then what will happen then of course there will be two lines and two lines can be either intersecting or parallel or coincident and depending upon the nature of the relationship between two lines we can have the number of solutions so now linear equation in two variables if there are two equations two linear equation linear equation two linear equations say x plus y is equal to 20 and x minus y is equal to 4 this is given so this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 if i solve them adding these two then it will be 2x y y cancels is equal to 24 and x is equal to 12 from any one of them if i put the value of y in any one of them so from first if i'm writing uh, from first x plus y is equal to 20 if i put x is equal to 12 y is 20 and y is equal to 20 minus 12 and that is 8 so y is equal to 8 and x is equal to 12 is the only pair of values of x and y which will satisfy both the equations so here x is equal to 12 and y is equal to 8 is the only pair of value only pair of values <coughs> which satisfy both the equation which satisfy the equation which will satisfy which will satisfy both the equation both the equation both the equation right okay so we can say uh, these two equations have unique solution therefore here the equations have unique solution unique solution unique solution isn't it unique solution that is only one solution and there is no other pair which will satisfy both the equations so we can say there is a unique solution now if i want to solve it graphically then what will happen x plus y is equal to 20 and uh, x minus y is equal to let me plot the graph and say this is x x dash this one is y and this one is y dash and i have plotted a graph for x plus y is equal to 20 the same graph i am plotting here x plus y is equal to 20 this is the graph which will 20 comma 0 and 0 comma 20 these are the two points rest of the points are on the line and that line is x plus y is equal to 20 now there is another equation and that equation is x minus y is equal to 4 so we can make one another table of uh, for this value x minus y is equal to 4 so what will happen if i plot them x minus y is equal to 4 that will be also there <coughs>
x minus y is equal to 4. So that will be x and y, x and y. Since it is given that x minus y is equal to 4, so we can say x is equal to 4 plus y. So if y is equal to 0, x will be 4. If y is minus 4, then x will be 0. If y is minus 2, then x is equal to 2. If y is 2, then x is equal to 6. And if, uh, say, uh, y is minus 4, uh, y is 1, then x is equal to 5, like that. So these are few points which can be generated. But basically two points which will intersect for x axis and y axis that you need to plot. So x4 and y0, x4 and y0 will be here only, 4 comma 0. And x0, y minus 4, x0, y minus 4 will be here only. So if I plot this line on the basis of uh, the points which has been obtained, you will see this line will be like this. This line, both the lines will intersect at this point and this is a common point which will satisfy both the equation. This is x minus y is equal to 4 and this is x plus y. If you see in the graph, uh, this will be definitely, uh, this point will be 12 comma 8. From graph you can calculate it, that will be definitely 8 and this will be definitely 12. So 12 comma 8 will be the point if you plot from the graph. So that will come 12 comma 8. So there will be graphical solutions as well. So two lines have unique solutions if and only if they intersect each other, isn't it? If and only if they will intersect each other, then there is unique solution. And if they won't intersect anywhere, then there will be no solutions. So to have unique solution, line must intersect, there will be one and only one common point and this common point will be the solution. So if you plot in the graph, there will be uh, unique solutions. So when two line, the conclusion is, conclusion is, what is conclusion? Let me write, conclusion is, conclusion conclusion is when two line intersect two lines intersect each other intersect each other then there is only one common point only one common point common point which will satisfy both the equation which will satisfy both the equation right now both the equation equations and that point of intersection point of intersection of two lines gives the solution. Right? So this is what we can obtain. But how you come to know, suppose I, if I want to plot a graph of uh, to any other lines, then what will happen? Uh, say, I have equations that uh, x plus y is equal to 4 and 3x plus 3y is equal to 6, right? Or x plus y is equal to 2, simply we can write x plus y is equal to 2. These are the two equations, right? How can you solve them and how many solutions can have? These two lines, if I would subtract them, then what will happen if there are two question in this? If I will subtract, then what will happen? This cancel, this cancel, 4 minus 2 is 2 and 2 is not equal to 0. 2 is equal to 0, this is not possible. 
and therefore equation has no solutions. So in that case, if x plus y is equal to 2 and x minus y plus y is equal to 4, then in that case there is no solutions. What is the relationship between these two? And if I would plot the graph of this function, then what will happen? See, if I plot the graph of this, then there will be two lines. One edge, say, this edge, y axis, this one is x axis. If I plot the graph of these two lines, then x plus y is equal to 4 and x plus y is equal to 2. So that will be x plus y is equal to 2 and this line will be x plus y is equal to 4, isn't it? So that will be 4 comma 0 and 0 comma 4 and here that will be 0 comma 2 and 2 comma 0. This is the origin. So here these two lines are parallels. There is no common point. Since there is no common point, common points and therefore no solution, no solution. So graphically we can uh, uh, observe here there is no common points, these two are parallel lines and therefore there is no solutions. Sometimes the line will be coincident, the first line and second line will overlap each other. For example, if I am writing here x plus y is equal to 2 and 2x plus 2y is equal to 4, then the graph of these two lines will in overlap each other. In that case, this is the third condition. I am writing this is the third condition. If I will uh, plot the graph of these two, then what will happen? Um, this is x, this is y and this is origin x plus y is equal to 2 will be the line like this this is the line which is a 2 comma 0 and 0 comma 2 and 2x plus 2y if you plot in the similar fashion then uh, the graph of that will be also 2x plus 2y will also overlap on each other this one and in that case how many points will be common there will be infinite number of common points there will be infinite number of common points there so therefore it has infinite solutions in that case since two lines are coincident these are called coincident lines one lies over others lines are coincident lines coincident lines and therefore there are infinite therefore there are infinite infinite number of common points common points and therefore the system has two lines has infinite solution has infinite solution so all will depend that how many whether there is solution no solutions or unique solutions depends on the nature of the two lines which will be represented graphically and that uh, whether they have infinite solutions or not right so how to identify that when what will be the nature of the lines and that we need to calculate the nature of the lines nature of solutions nature of solutions solutions <coughs> so what will be that if there are two linear lines a1x plus b1y is equal to c1 and a2x plus b2y is equal to c2 are two linear equations equations then following cases will arise 
then case first case first is case first if a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 then system is consistent system is consistent and it has unique solution it has unique solutions unique solutions as it represent intersecting lines it represent intersecting lines intersecting lines that is two lines will intersect each other now in the second case we can have second case case 2 or let me write on next page intersecting lines it means these two lines will intersect each other and the common points will be the solution say this is a line and there will be another line so these two lines will intersect somewhere and that common point will be a solution solution right okay so common point will be solution now the thing is when a1 by a2 case 2 when a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 but not and also equal to c1 by c2 in that case the system is system is consistent consistent and has infinite solutions infinitely many solutions many solutions since these two lines are coincident lines since these two lines are these two lines are coincident lines coincident lines right so these two lines are coincident lines that is they will overlap each other so if i plot the graph of this say one line is like this and other line is also like this so these two lines are coincident on each other so these two lines are coincident on each other they will overlap on each other right so coincident lines case 3 These are coincident lines, you know, so they will uh, overlap each other, and there will be infinite common points. There are infinite common points. Infinite common points are there. So infinite means so case three. When a one by a two is equal to b one by b two, but not equal to c one by c two. In this case. The system of equations will represent parallel lines, represent parallel lines, parallel lines which has no common points, no common points and therefore no solution there is no solution this system of equation is called this system of equation is called no solution right the system of equation is called the system of lines system of equations are 
are inconsistent. Not consistent month, there is another term called inconsistent. Inconsistent means which do not have existence. So, system of equation has inconsistent and it has no solutions. Right now, inconsistent equation has no solutions. I hope you got it. Inconsistent equation has no solutions. And in that case, the lines which will represent are intersecting lines. So, I can have the graph of these two as say parallel lines. One line and other line is parallel line. Y and this is say X. There are two lines. If I can write we have two lines. One is like this and another line is like this. So these two lines are parallel lines. Right. So it has there is no common points. So these are two parallel lines and in that case there is no solution. So all will depend on the nature of coefficients. What are the coefficients and what is the relation between them and accordingly uh, we will consider whether they have unique solutions or infinitely many solutions or um, no solutions. So depending upon the examples has been given and you find. Let me summarize this all and uh, by seeing it you can say that uh, whether this has unique solutions or infinitely many solutions or what. For example, uh, see one equation first example 2x plus y is equal to 5 and x minus y is equal to 4. Here a1 by a2 is 2 by 1 that is 2 and b1 by b2 is my 1 upon minus 1 that is minus 1. So since here a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 and therefore these equations has unique solution, unique solution and line will be intersecting. The second example if I would take like 2x plus y is equal to 5 and 4x plus 2y is equal to 5 also, right? So, in that case here a1 by a2 is 2 by 4 that is 1 by 2. b1 by b2 is also equal to 1 by 2. But c1 by c2 is what? c1 by c2 is 1, just 1. Here c1 by c2 is uh, 5 by 5 that is 1. So, since a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 but is not equal to c1 by c2, so there will be parallel lines and parallel lines has no solutions and therefore what will be the solutions? There is no solutions, right? But parallel lines has no solutions. The third example if I am taking x plus 5 and 3x plus 3y is equal to 15. So, here a1 by a2 is 1 by 3, b1 by b2 is also 1 by 3 and c1 by c2 is also 1 by 3, 5 by 15 that is 1 by 3 and therefore in that case since uh, system has they are coincident lines and has infinite solution, infinitely many solution, many solutions. So, I hope you got this. So, you first remember all these characteristics and therefore, thereafter we will discuss question. Um, these three conditions you need to understand and whenever there is a unique solution or infinitely many solutions in both the cases, system is said to be consistent and if there is no solution then system is called inconsistent. So, uh, depending upon you know, the coefficients, we can find the relationship and verify it and accordingly the given conditions we will be able to say that whether system is uh, consistent or inconsistent, it has unique solutions or infinitely many solutions that all will depends on the nature of coefficients and their relationships. 
So I hope you got enjoyed this and this is a unique piece of knowledge and um, if you will remember I hope so that you remember it these conditions so in that case we will solve the uh, questions in a coming class how to break okay so that's all god bless and also share among your friends